Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021 and part 57 of season, or just of season. Uh, we're in season 6 of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Aston Villa. Today we take on Chelsea and Wolverhampton in the Premier League as we're looking to continue our fight back from our terrible start to the season. Thank you for all the support on the series so far, really do appreciate it. Um, since you were last with us, when we played um, Everton and Arsenal, I believe, um, things have, have gone all right, actually. Uh, we won 4-1 against Sheffield United, with uh, Jorge Salas getting two and Jordan Henderson getting two in that match. We then drew 0-0 away to, to Norwich, 1-1 away to Crystal Palace with Tom Good scoring, and uh, won 1-0 against, uh, against Watford with Mohamed Mulder getting his uh, first goal for, for the club. So if you have a little look at the Premier League, we are currently in 11th position after 14 games, uh, 19 points on on the scoreboard. It would be nice if we, we could win a couple of more matches and, and get right up there into the European pain positions. But, um, you know, we're not... After losing the first four games of the season, to, to then um, you know not lose nine of your next ten is, is quite nice. So you know we need to, to go out there with a positive attitude that that we can still go on and uh, and do good things this season. So I do just want to talk a little bit about squad performances. Top goal scorer is Neymar with six from thirteen, five for Salas from eight, and then four from nine for Tom Good. I think that's our big problem at the moment is that we're, we're just not scoring enough goals. And and that was our problem last year as well. Top assists is Neymar with eight, uh, four for, for Callum hudson Adoy, uh, two each for Kurt, Estevez and uh, Jota. Top average rating then is Neymar with a 7.15, 7.08 um, for Mulder, 7.03 for, for Martinez and 7 uh, flat for, for Daryl Brindley. So... Yeah, that's uh, that's how it's going so far. So this is the team for today then. We have got Diego Costa in goal with Christensen Bailly and Brindley in defence. We've then got Mulder as our ball winning midfielder with Madison, Good, Henderson and Neymar starting behind Calvert-Lewin and um, Jorge Salas up top. So we're, we're going for it a little bit. Um, you know, today against against Chelsea, we're we're still persisting with this three, um, three three five two formation that we've got going, and uh, you know we still haven't been beaten with this formation. But uh, you know, sod's law is that today we'll we'll have two defeats, but we have been playing some pretty nice football with it. So uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is 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 the saying that that I'm looking at there? So. Yeah, let's keep it going out there, and hopefully we can we can perform well against Chelsea today. They are um, obviously a top side, and and what I have found with this formation is that we tend to be asleep for for seventy minutes of the game, and then we we tend to to do really well in the in the final third of the game and and score loads of goals. So um, as long as defensively we're all right for three quarters of the game, I feel confident. But here we go with Chelsea, uh, Pulisic with a with a shot there, and he calls in again and. Bay gets it away, and it's a header on, but Calvert-Lewin in the middle of nowhere, but he's got it back, and now Calvert-Lewin with the shot, and it's a good save from Ramsdale, but you feel like Calvert-Lewin could have done a little bit better there, but didn't manage it. So, he has uh, Neymar with the throw in. I presume he hasn't picked it up yet, but here we go. Throws it to Salas, back to Neymar. Neymar cuts inside. Neymar keeps going, and that oh wow! You would have you would have bet your house on Neymar scoring that one, but uh, it wasn't to be. Here's Mulder. Now good. Henderson. Mulder. Henderson again. Henderson forward to Neymar. Neymar keeps going, and uh, possibly should have crossed that. That's a bit of a mistake from Neymar. Well. Here's Mendes with a chance for Chelsea. Oh, it's over the bar. Very lucky there. Very, very lucky. Here's Neymar. Corner into the middle. Salas is there, and it's a good save from Ramsdale again. 
there was a good chance that for Salah's free header. And well, at half time, we could have quite easily been 3 0 up. But uh, we're going to say it's time to dig in, boys. Let's let's get this show on the road. Let's try and do this thing. Uh, Henderson is going to come off, I think. Who are we going to put on instead? That's the question. There's nobody looking very attractive there. Madison Christensen now. He has Henderson. Gets it forward to Salas. He has Mulder. Mulder bombing forward. Calvert-Lewin, good. He has Madison now. James Madison. Oh, should have done better. Should have done a lot better with that. And now Mulder comes across and misses the tackle. Sancho still continuing. But good gets it back and loses it. And that was just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And I can't believe that that's just happened. If I'm honest with you. Very disappointed with that. Um... Neymar's looking pretty tired. We're going to get Hudson Adoy in there. I just can't believe what's gone on there. You know, we had three players track back and none of them could get it. But it was all caused by James Madison, if I'm honest with you. He, he, he just gave the ball away too easily. And this is, this is going to be our first defeat as well, isn't it? Right. Salas is going to come off. We're going to stick Ollie Watkins on for this last 20 minutes. We're going to go very attacking and try and get back into this. I feel like it's the only way we go. I mean, we, te we tend to, to do well in the final third. And here's Calvert-Lewin, and that was a real big chance. But he's missed, missed it. And now three minutes to go in this match. Nope. Well, Chelsea have beaten us. You've got to say that was that was brought on ourselves. It was a poor performance. Um, you know, we we had plenty of chances to to take the lead in that match, and we just weren't good enough. And how can we expect to 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 ever um, win matches playing that way? Oh, so frustrating. But uh, hopefully. Things will be better against Wolves in a few days' time. Well, a couple of changes for this Wolves match then. We've brought in Callum Hudson-Odoi on the right-hand side and Paul Glatzel makes his return in attack after a recent injury. So let's get into it then. And uh, I'm hoping that, that Glatzel brings us a little bit of spice up top. Um, you know, we're not panicking straight away after one defeat uh, against Chelsea. But uh, if we get beat again today uh, against Wolves, then it will be a cause for concern and, and you know, we'll probably chicken out of, of using this tactic. But it certainly, you know, got us at least back on track this season uh, to try and finish uh, top half, which is which was always always the target for me this season, uh, trying to, to, to get back to where we you know, were a couple of seasons ago. We we lost a lot of ground last season in our in our quest to um to win the league. But um yeah, it's uh, not been the best start to this match. No highlights whatsoever. Our XG is looking slightly better than Wolves, but uh you know it's uh, it's all about the, the goals column at the end of the day. So I think Thrash our arms about and tell them we're not happy. I think I think that's what we've got to do at this stage. Here's uh, Ro Rogerio. Now we will be pushing forward. Fabio Silva's there, and it's a good save in the end by Diogo Costa, who um, hasn't had it had the best start to, to life in the Premier League, must admit. But um, you know, has said he wants a, a run of games in the Premier League and. Yeah, we've had to, to give him in to him, really, because Martinez, you know, he's 30, 34, 35 now, and he's not going to be around forever. That's certainly uh, not going to be the case. Uh, Tom Good's going to come off. going to stick James Madison on instead and, and see what he can do in, in the final 35 minutes of this game. Glatzel's not really done a lot so far, but then, as a team, we haven't really done a lot. Salah's... 
should have really been getting the header on there, but here's Rogerio now to uh, Conceau. Oh. Pedro Neto scores for Aston, uh, for, for Wolves. And we're 1-0 we're down with half an hour to go. We're going to go very attacking. I mean, this second half, Wolves have been by far the better team. And... Yeah, what are we going to do about it? Christensen gets it away, but into to the middle of nowhere. Mulder to Glatzel gets it forward to Salas now. Salas using his pace. Salas scores. And there is why Paul Glatzel's in the team. He is a creative master. He really is. You know, you get the ball to him and straight away he's looking at, well, how can I get that ball forward? It was a brilliant pass. And Salas with an excellent finish in the end. Um, and he scores uh, with his left foot. I was just checking; he wasn't, he wasn't, um, he wasn't le uh, left footed. Uh, we'll get the Ogo Yotta out there on the right hand side. We'll see how he does. Yes, Rogerio Condogbia, Rogerio again. Oh, we're still very attacking. That might. Come back to bite us, but Smith Rowe gets it away. Yotta now on the ball. Yotta to Sales. Sales switches the play, but doesn't find Smith Rowe, and that's a dangerous thing. When you switch the play, if you don't succeed, that could have been a disaster there. Now he has Neto all to way by Christensen. Now Sales, can he return the favour to Glatzel? Christensen gets it forward. He has Diogo Yotta now. This is a great chance for Yotta. Oh, it's a good save. It's a good save in the end. But that could well have been the winner. I mean, you're starting to see what I mean by we we we're asleep for most of the game and then wake up in the the second uh, second half uh, or the the second half of the second half, <laughs> the final quarter of the match. Here's Hoover. On the ball. Oh, it's a good block by Smith Rowe. Hover again into the middle. Oh, Diogo Costa with the save. Now, gets it forward. He has Yotta. Yotta now to Madison. Madison pushing forward. Madison still going. Go on, son. Gets it back to Diogo Yotta. Mulder. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone in. And Mohamed Mulder. After a flop from the goalkeeper, it's gone in. Let's have another look at this. Madison went as far as he could. Yotta came steaming in from deep and made an absolute mess of that. And, yep, yeah, that's a fumble from uh, Ariola there in goal. But we have gone 2-1 up in the dying minutes here. Can we hang on? Hopefully. Yotta, uh, Costa, now to Henderson. Madison to Glatzel. Glatzel on the ball. What's he going to do with it? Oh, he shoots, but who's blocked by his own player? Madison back to Christensen. Over the top. Here's Paul Glatzel with his chance now. And he scores. Paul Glatzel with his first goal of the season. And I think he is going to become our, our new top scorer. I'm going to call it now. It's a bold claim. I think Paul Glatzel will end up as our top scorer this season. That is a terrific finish. First goal of the season for him. He's been injured so far this year, but since he's come back in January, he has done a great job for us, and he's managed to seal the deal for us today. Man of the match performance, in my opinion. Diogo Costa will get it. But uh, a 3-1 win away from home. That's our first away win for quite some time. And uh, I think... Certainly second half, our best performance for quite some time. And uh, once again, waking up in that last quarter of the match. Um, we need to stop doing that, really. We've got three very tough games coming up, um, admittedly. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do regarding the tactic. You know, I may well just keep keep persisting with it until the, the late Orient match. And we might try something different after that. Um, but... I tell you what, when when should we come back? Um, when should we come back? Maybe, 
Maybe, maybe, maybe we come back for this late no late Norian Southampton double header. Um, and we'll see how we're getting on around about then. So if you have enjoyed that, make sure you leave a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for daily football manager content from Monday to Friday. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.